what is the difference between 32-bit and 64-bit PCS? Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to discuss what is the difference between 32-bit and 64-bit computers. In computing, 32-bit and 64-bit refer to the type of central processing unit, operating system, driver, software program, etc., that utilizes that particular architecture one. The primary difference between the two is the amount of memory they can access. 32-bit systems can access up to 4 GB of RAM, while 64-bit systems can access much more than that. In general, 64-bit systems are faster and more efficient than their 32-bit counterparts because they can handle larger amounts of data at once one. This is because 64-bit systems utilize data in 64-bit pieces, while 32-bit systems utilize data in 32-bit pieces one. The more data that can be processed at once, the faster the system can operate. It's important to note that not all software is compatible with both 32-bit and 64-bit systems. If you're running a 64-bit operating system, you'll need to use 64-bit software for optimal performance 1. A 32-bit system can access 232 different memory addresses, i.e. 4 GB of RAM or physical memory ideally, it can access more than 4 GB of RAM also. A 64-bit system can access 264 different memory addresses, i.e. actually 18 quintillion bytes of RAM. In short, any amount of memory greater than 4 GB can be easily handled by it. Most computers made in the 1990s and early 2000s were 32-bit machines. The CPU register stores memory addresses, which is how the processor accesses data from RAM. One bit in the register can reference an individual byte in memory, so a 32-bit system can address a maximum of 4 gigabytes, 4,294,967,296 bytes, of RAM. The actual limit is often less than around 3.5 gigabytes since part of the register is used to store other temporary values besides memory addresses. Most computers released over the past two decades were built on a 32-bit architecture, hence most operating systems were designed to run on a 32-bit processor. A 64-bit register can theoretically reference 18 quintillion 446 quadrillion 744 trillion 73 billion 709 million 551 thousand 616 bytes, or 17,179,869,184 gigabytes, 16 exabytes, of memory. This is several million times more than an average workstation would need to access. What's important is that a 64-bit computer, which means it has a 64-bit processor, can access more than 4 gigabytes of RAM. If a computer has 8 gigabytes of RAM, it better has a 64-bit processor. Otherwise, at least 4 GB of the memory will be inaccessible by the CPU. A major difference between 32-bit processors and 64-bit processors is the number of calculations per second they can perform, which affects the speed at which they can complete tasks. 64-bit processors can come in dual-core, quad-core, 6-core, and 8-core versions for home computing. Multiple cores allow for an increased number of calculations per second that can be performed, which can increase the processing power and help make a computer run faster. Software programs that require many calculations to function smoothly can operate faster and more efficiently on the multi-core 64-bit processors, for the most part. So to summarize 32-bit and 64-bit PCS differ in their processing speed. 64-bit computers can handle much more data and at a greater speed than 32-bit computers. Most earlier computers were 32-bit machines but the more modern computers are 64-bit. 32-bit computers can only handle 4 GB of RAM while 64-bit machines can handle a lot more. So to put it simply 32-bit and 64-bit refers to the amount of data and the speed at which the computer can process information. Obviously 64-bit computers are better than 32-bit computers due to their ability to process more data quicker. Also some hardware can only be used with 64-bit computers. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more internet-related videos.